Hey guys, it's Michael with the H&M Reviews channel and today we are going to see how our portable jump starters work with the negative 40 degree preheat technology. We want to see how it works and if it works. Okay, they've been in here for a couple hours. Like I said, let me, um, let me just temp it. It's 12 degrees, 13. They're all 14. Yeah, I've had it in there for... You know, it has to be a good four hours. You know, so yeah, I mean, they're very, very, very cold. Let's do the goo loop first. You can see the frost on the back here a little bit. I mean, it is very cold. This is, I mean, I mean, it 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 feels like it's it's frozen, but <laughs> I mean, you can actually see the screen is just weird looking. Actually, actually, since we have the long cables, we're gonna okay, we're gonna put that one there. What is this? Okay, come on. Everything is all okay. Okay, let's see. Is it gonna start? Let's see how it, if it does start or not. I don't even think it's coming on. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, you see the frost. You see the see the frost button or the frost icon there. You see the snowflake. Now it's supposed to take a couple seconds. I don't know exactly how long, but it's supposed to take a couple minutes for this to, the snowflake should go off in a couple minutes. Should. Actually, let's hit the boost button anyway. It does say ready, even though the snowflake is still there. Let's see if it'll jump start now. Probably not, but uh, actually maybe. I could hear it chiming now. Hang on a second, hang on, hang on. No, it's clicking. It's clicking like it gave some power. It gave some power. And keep in mind, guys, when you hit the boost button, you're just disabling the security features. That's all you're doing. This does have the preheat technology. You can see it right there. This is the GT4000. Snowflake is still there. Let's hit the boost button one more time says ready and technically you're supposed to wait like I said for the snowflake icon to disappear before jump starting but I am impatient and now it's just clicking away okay all right it's okay I'm sure I'm sure it'll take a little a little longer than usual it's okay let me get the boost off Okay, I don't want to, I want to turn it off. There we go. Yeah, it's just, yeah, the, uh, the, the snowflake right there is not going away. And I guess it's, I don't know if, I don't know if the, um, the preheat technology is not working or if it just takes extra long. You know, I don't know. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna move on to the next one, okay? And we're going to come back to this later. Okay, this was the Gulu GT4000. Let's put this over here for now. Now we're going to try the Loki Thor J01X. This is, oh, this is freezing. Okay. Um, okay, see so what happens? Is there anything up here? Negative 12 it's showing on there. All right. Showing negative 12, negative 11. Okay, let's see. How long it takes it's negative 11 i guess in the inside because this is showing 24 degrees 23 9 you know negative 10 degrees ne negative 9. see this is how i think it should work it's actually going in the right direction negative 8 negative 7. actually i'm going to try it right now even though it's not time I'm gonna try it right now. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't hear no chiming. No, no chiming, no chiming, nothing. Okay. Now let's go back to the unit. I just wanted to see if it was gonna start before time. And there, it says zero on there. Showing zero, let's see what happens. It went all the way from negative 11 to, okay, now it's going one, two. I guess it's like a, a timer of some sort. Five, see, oh, I just, there it goes. 
I just heard it click on. Let's see what happens, guys. I heard it click on after that four second mark. Let's see what happens. This is the look there. <laughs> this is the Loki Thor J401X. Let's see what happens now. Car started right up, guys. Woo! That was the Loki Thor J401X. Perfecto. Ice cold. You can actually see a little frost on it as well. Ooh, it's cold. I should have worn gloves. I didn't realize how cold it was going to be. Well, I should have realized because it was in the freezer, but I just wanted to, you know, just got excited. That's all. I get excited for these little tests, you know. Okay, let's see what we got here. You ready? Turn her on. Is it showing anything? Uh, I don't see anything. It says 100. It is still showing 26 now. Yeah, it doesn't show any, uh, there's no snowflake on this one, I don't think. This, I believe this, isn't this supposed to have it? I think this has the uh, negative 40 degree technology. I hope it does. Or I put it in the freezer for nothing. Yeah, I don't see any, uh, any snowflake icon, nothing. Let's hit the boost button. Oh, I did see a spark. I saw a sparkage. Okay, let's see if it'll start. Yeah. I do hear chiming. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's go, guys. All right, it did start up. It clicked one time before it started, but this thing is ice cold, so obviously. All right. Okay, wow, this thing is freezing. I don't know if you can see the frost on it like I can. That's how you can tell it's been in the freezer for a while. <laughs> see all the frost on it and stuff. And you know it's on the up and up because I proved it already, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's fucking cold. Woo! Okay, let's see what we got. Let me pull the gun out real quick. So yeah, this is just the top. This is 22 degrees it's showing. But this isn't really accurate, you know? I mean, it's, it's probably much colder inside. Who knows? But let's uh, let's start her up. Let's see if the snowflake comes on. Is there a snowflake? Yes, there is. See a snowflake down there? Now let's see how long it takes for this to go off the snowflake. See it? All right. I'm gonna hook it back up. See what happens. Okay. Bear with me, guys. There we go. Ready? There we go. Okay. That's what it was. Yeah, the buttons, there's the chiming. The buttons were a little, a little hard, <laughs> a little bit. All right, here we go, guys. Car started right up. That is the Hulkman 10.0, the beast. Here we go. For the boost, you know. But let's try the Gulu GT4000 again, guys. This is the one that, that wouldn't work before for some reason. It was showing it was cold, but it wasn't coming on. The, um, okay, let's see what we got here. All right. Okay, see what we got here, ready? Okay. Okay, is the snowflake still on? Yeah, snowflake is still on, see it? 39 degrees now. So this should be, I mean, this should, you know, it started off, I think, at 20 something degrees. So this, the snowflake shouldn't be on there anymore. It really shouldn't, you know? But it is. Just for kicks, I'm gonna hit the boost button. You saw the sparkage over there. The snowflake is still there and it says ready. But even though it says ready, the snowflake is still illuminated. And it is chiming, but that don't mean anything. <laughs> Let's go guys. You hear it clicking. It it wants to jump start, but it's just the unit is a little too cold still. You do hear it chiming because the key is in the ignition. But um, yeah, it's showing 77% now. We are going to disconnect the Gulu GT4000. And keep in mind, guys, I mean, if you don't live in a cold climate, you don't have to worry about this test, you know? All ready? Click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon. Click all so you never miss an upcoming video. And again, click that like button, guys. Hit it hard.
bring that algorithm all the way up click it up click it up click it up we'll have a couple more videos coming up in the next couple weeks and again this is michael peace out